Greeting interwebs, this is Jackie K, and welcome for another Pokemon battle. Although this one is a bit unique compared to what I've uploaded in the past. This is the first time I've done a battle like this since I've played Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Nintendo Wii. And that would be a little cup slash baby cup tournament. Now I know a lot of you who are familiar with competitive battling may have heard of little cup, but allow me to explain because the rules to this are a bit different from that. It's close though. First of all, everything has to be at level 1 and you're not allowed to EV train. Secondly, I originally thought you had to hatch everything at the event so you couldn't really teach TM moves or any of that sort to the Pokemon in advance. Turns out I was wrong when I actually got there so I did teach one of my Pokemon like Brick Break. But besides that, I actually got all the movesets of these Pokemon through breeding. I just wanted to glow about that a little. Now, let me get to the story about this, so if you were curious of how this battle is going to work, you can skip. But if you'd like to hear why the heck I'm doing that, here it goes. So, if you've been following me on the social networks, you specifically Twitter, you might have heard me talk about a convention I went to known as RyoCon. Now, this was really supposed to be a tournament with that rules. However, including myself, only two people enter. So between the two of us, we decided to have a best two out of three to determine who would be the winner. <laughs> now, a disclaimer that would apply to any videos relating to Ryokan I upload, it would be a bit outdated by the time it's uploaded to you guys. But these battles are special enough to me that I still want to share them with you all. So, with all that out of the way, let's begin. So, unfortunately, none of my Pokemon have nicknames, because I did just hatch them at the convention and couldn't think of any. But this Mifu I'm going to lead off with is the son of Chie-senpai, so I will be calling it the son of Chie. And my opponent here has a Lily to lead off with. Even though it would be resisted, the general rule of Chie is, if you have nothing better to do, lead with a fake out. And this is why I taught Son of Chie Brick Break, because it did not hatch with any fighting type move, so I wouldn't really make any use out of that. However, my opponent also used TMs, and they had their Pokemon all hatched in advance, so we agreed with each other that it was cool. All the little I get to do is stockpile, so I'm able to take it out quite easily. If it had anything else in store for me, this could have been a bit tricky. Like this fan up here that's gonna burn me. That's really gonna hurt. However, I do have one trick up my sleeve. This one's a little different from Chie because it actually is bred with knockoff. A move I actually see a lot on my food, but I never bother with it because I prefer the set I have with Chie. But since you can't breed U turn onto a Pokemon, I figured knockoff would be a good alternative. Using this opportunity, I decided to switch to the Squirtle because even if I do get burned, this Squirtle has mostly special attacking move. Mine is a Stab, which is quite a physical move, so no, I don't know what I was thinking other than, hey, Squirtle's gonna be bulky because this is the Pokemon I gave my Eviolite to. So Mrs. Squirtle here is not gonna appreciate confusion and burn, but I'm thankfully gonna be able to snap out of it. Unfortunately, I don't have my brain on properly, and I forget that this Pokemon is part grass. But to be fair, the only dark type move I have on this thing is Bite, and who knows how much that would have done after the burn. Probably more than Water Pulse, but I didn't know for sure. Seeing how well Knockoff worked before, I decided to go back to Minfu, try to finish this thing off. Plus it does have Regenerator, so I don't have to worry about getting hurt as much. I can always just swap out and get my health back. Especially with everyone having so minuscule health. I'm not worried about confusion. Well, I am, but I'm not as worried about it as I could be. Especially with the combination with the burns. But I snap out right away, get this knockoff off, and bam! Pantup is not a problem anymore. Though, in future rounds, it will be. Because it turns out that it was pretty lucky for me to go for the knockoff. I'll talk about it when it becomes relevant in a future battle. Melting, however, would be a prime opportunity if I wasn't so whittled. 
my only hope is to go for Duran. It's pretty much the only overpowered right. Pokemon I have. By which I mean, like, there's Pokemon that are technically coming out of eggs, like this Milk Tank here, that you would never really consider a baby Pokemon, despite it technically being so. This Swagger Power Up Punch combo Melt Tank is not very nice. Durant is pretty much my. Uh, technically, it counts Pokemon because. Look at the stats, it's really good stats. Probably because it doesn't have any sort of evolutions, so. It'll have a lot of higher stats than normal base. However, that Swagger is not really gonna allow me to do anything. So I feel a bit in a troublesome situation because my most overpowered Pokemon just got taken out. And now this candle I have is gonna get taken out because of freaking earthquake! Yay! The milk tank has the earthquake! Seeing the earthquake, I go into Molga because that's the only hope I have. But it does have to have rock slide. Thankfully I dodged the attack. Although that shockwave damage is not really gonna do much. And this Amoko strategy involves using up an orange berry and being able to use aerobics. Which is not really going to happen in this battle. So, back into Mimfu. Hopefully to take a bunch of rocks. Because, let's be honest here, we're fighting with babies. Do you really expect babies to be able to resist getting smashed by rocks? Well, if you're the son of Chie, you can resist getting smashed by rocks. <laughs> But not even the Sun of Chie can really deal with Burn. And somehow I'm thinking I'd be faster than a Milk Tank. I don't go for the Fake Outs, but to be fair, I level over, would probably recover any Fake Out damage, if not more. So that's another reason not to go for it. And just let the Milk Tank do what it wants, because apparently I don't go faster than it. Luckily, I'm getting lucky with these Rock Slides. And the Psychic actually does a good chunk of damage! Holy cow! <laughs> I just realized that he said that. Anyways, thanks to Moonnose Bulk, in combination with this Orange Berry, I should be able to take this Milk Tank out. Only thing I can think of that can stop me are flinches. But considering how lucky things have been so far, let us hope for the best, shall we? Moment of truth. Will it flinch? I think it did more than before, but I'm still able to get off the attack to finish it off. Hooray! You could say we milked out the milk tank. That sounded better in my head. But to be fair, we're not done yet. On top of the milk tank, there's this fur root here, which is way too bulky to be a baby. But hey, I could use it if I wanted to. It was in the rules, so I'm not gonna complain. You turning right on to the dinosaur, his second shiny that he's so proud of. At least I'm gonna have Squirtle in here, and Squirtle will be able to do things, right? Right? Well, maybe. This dragon dance is kinda spelling out trouble for me. But I have Dragon Pulse on this, baby! And that dragon took the attack. So yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, as long as I didn't resist the attack, anything this thing would have done would have taken me out of this health range. So, a win's a win. And it's a rock type, unless I can get a miracle. I'm going down. The ice thing was a little odd when we could have gone for the rock slide. <laughs> At least I end this battle off with something like that static. I am surprised that Pokemon is actually able to outspeed an Amolga. Just wow. But it was still a good battle. And tournament wise, it's only the first battle. Can I make a comeback? What will happen in the future matches? Fine, now on the next upload, which probably won't be next week's Pokemon Battle, but the Pokemon Battle on the following week. So anyways, if you enjoyed these Pokemon Battles, be sure to like the video, feel free to comment as well. You should be able to find a playlist for more Pokemon Battles in an annotation on this video. 
and if you like my commentary in general, feel free to check out my channel. Hopefully by the time this is uploaded, I'll be doing some great stuff with the channel, or at least getting back into the swings of the basics. So, there's always going to be stuff worth subscribing for. With all that rambling out of the way, I will see you all later. Take care.